everyone, I'm Crystal Arnett here with Sequin. Hi, my name is Laura Reedy, and I am a mixologist and a writer and a performer. And we're back with this week's edition of What We're Excited About, where we talk about shows, performances, and cultural events coming up this week that we are excited about. And this week we're doing a little bit of a East Coast, West Coast, not versus, just together. Because <laughs> I'm from Los Angeles. And I'm from New York, so get excited. Kicking us off in New York City on Monday, February 19th, is the launch party and fundraiser for TransLab, a new initiative created by Kit Yan and MJ Kaufman, and with support from Public Theater and WP Theater. This initiative is trying to create a critical mass of TGNC plays so the theater world can never say they don't exist. The first year-long fellowship involves four playwrights and two directors, and they need your support. And the best way to do that is to go to the party on Monday at WP Theater. It is a queer prom. The dress code is live your best life, wear something sparkly. <laughs> I really like this plan. I really wish I could be there to attend. And if you're like me and you can't be there in person, you can click the link below to support TransLab from afar. But if you're in New York City, Go. Go. Also happening in New York is Witness, uh, conceptualizing sexual violence through art. So Tuesday, February 20th from 5 to 7 p.m., they're doing a panel with some fantastic uh, artists talking about sexual violence through their art. And we're talking composers, dancers, playwrights, all different kinds of art, um, but all talking about this very, very important subject. So it's going to be at John Jay College of Criminal Justice. And it is kicking off, this panel's kicking off a semester long project for sexual justice now. So it's the event, the panel is free to go and there's a reception afterwards, so go check it out. The panel includes awesome friends like Star Busby, Kim Davis, Kelsey Greels, um, and the amazing Adrian Trescott, and even a student playwright, Bianca Sauzo. So go check it out. Opening February 17th and running through March 2nd as part of Frigid New York is a new play by Nick Parker and Ayo Edibiri, directed by sequin maker Diane Chen. It's called Mad Cool, and it deals with an interracial couple moving into a gentrifying neighborhood in Brooklyn. And while in a, on a very, very hot day in summer, we all know what that's like, <laughs> and as tensions rise, both romantic and racial, it all culminates in a grisly accident. Very timely show, and it is full from the cast and crew with lots of amazing artists and friends. And if you thought festival season was over, it's so not. Frigid is in full swing right now, so check the link below to learn more about Mad Cool and to grab tickets, and also follow that link to learn more about Frigid New York. All right, and now off to the West Coast in LA. Uh, Sunday, February 18th is going to be the fourth episode of Unheard LA. It's hosted by the um, KPCC, which is a Southern California public radio station here in Los Angeles. It is being hosted by Bruce A. Lemon Jr. And basically what it is, if you've never been there, it's um, community artists and storytellers that come in for 30 minute segments and get to take over the radio and share whatever it is that's on their mind at that time. So it, they get the 30 minutes of their mic free um, to share their experiences, their stories, their creativity with the world. So there's a reception afterwards and you get to chat with the artists as well. And the event is totally free. You just want to RSVP for it. And it's being held at Nate Holden Performing Arts Center. On Monday, February 19th, you can catch us at El Cid in Silver Lake for the next edition of Wicked Woman Picture Show. Now, Wicked Woman is a performance troupe created by Kelsey Polk and Noelle Francis, which is, they're a, a group of aerialists, pole dancers, contortionists, um, circus performers, burlesque performers, and they uh, do shows all around town, you know, emphasizing female sexuality and power. And the picture show is super fun because they play cult films and perform in front of them and uh, doing acts that are inspired by the movie. Monday night show is none other than Baz Luhrmann's Romeo and Juliet. So it's gonna be really great. And tickets start at $15. If you can't make it out on Monday, just be sure to click the link below, learn more about the work that Wicked Women is doing and catch the next show they perform all over town. And this one's not necessarily New York or Los Angeles, but it is nationwide here. Talking about Black Panther. It opened this weekend and it's doing awesome at the box office. Go support it with your dollars and show Hollywood that these are the kinds of movies that we want to see. If you also want to support um, some of the underrepresented communities and the children around, um, in those communities, the GoFundMe has the Black Panther Challenge. 
which is raising money to be able to buy movie tickets for kids in underrepresented areas to go see someone that looks like them on a big screen, taking names, kicking butt, and being just awesome. Um, I know I've already supported it with my dollars and I'm gonna go do it again because I'm taking her with me because she has to see this. <laughs> <laughs> Um, and the cool thing about the GoFundMe is that it is like you can support your own community. So there's already been a really successful uh, fundraiser for kids in Harlem. There are ones that are here in Los Angeles and also all across the country. So it's a great way to make a difference because yeah. it, it matters. It really matters. Hollywood listens to money. So go show them where you want it. <laughs> So one last awesome thing that's happening uh, on Monday before the Wicked Woman Picture Show at El Cid, we're actually hosting a sequin pop-up here in LA. It's it's a true pop-up <laughs> in this time. It's gonna be a happy hour pop-up from 5 to 8 p.m. out on the patio at El Cid. It is President's Day, so a lot of people have the day off. So you can just come and hang out with us. Um, we're getting to know the Los Angeles community. We're inviting all of our artist friends that are here. It's a space to kind of gather together, meet other makers, and, and you know, just kind of have fun. Afterwards, we're going to be stepping inside for the picture show. There's going to be a discount offer and we're even doing like sangria specials. <laughs> so it's going to be really fun. Check out the link below for more on that event. And if you want to follow us across social media, we're at We Are Sequin or follow our website or head to our website at wearesequin.org to learn more about what we do. Yeah, and if you want to check me out anywhere on Instagram, I'm Beauty and the Bourbon. It's a lot of pictures of cocktails. They're very good cocktails. Yes. <laughs> <laughs>